Hey everyone, this is Tammy from Tammy Colors 2. Long time no see. <laughs> I am sorry it has been such a long time since I've done a video. Um, it's just been very busy in December, so I'll have to do a color and chat. I can talk about what happened in December. Nothing bad, just normal stuff, Christmas and, you know, things. So, thought I would do my December haul. Um... I have a few supplies and a few books, and then I've got some Christmas presents. So I will show those to you. Um, what should I start with? I guess, um, so I bought these. I just bought some Christmas stencils. I wanted some snowflakes, and so I ended up just getting like this pack of Christmas stencils from um, Amazon. So, oops, go backwards. So I'll show those to you really quick. Watch, I'll turn it around and then the other words will be um, backwards. Nope, they're right side up. <laughs> but yeah, they're cookie cookie stencils, I think technically is what they are. If you're ever looking for little, the little square stencils like these, um, search for cookie stencils or um, bullet journaling. Journaling stencils is a good thing to look for too, um, I've noticed. When searching, uh oh, I think uh, there. It was probably a punch out because um, when they punch these out, sometimes the little uh, things get left on there. <laughs> the machine doesn't always cut it cleanly. Oh, that one's cool. Happy New Year. There's a Santa and a sled. I'll link these in the description box if you're interested. Um, I just wanted, like I said, I, I really wanted some snowflakes and I didn't have any snowflakes and, and I thought this would be fun to add stuff to backgrounds uh, and things like that. I'm going to try to do more with backgrounds. That's one of my challenges for the year is to really, really do more. I'm not going to force myself to do background if I don't want to. And then that's the last one. So I will link those in the description box. I thought those were really pretty. Um, I got another set. I got a set of water brushes. These are just cheap ones. I keep looking for the ones with a green cap, which um, I've seen like here and there. But I thought I would try these. I just really wanted to try them out. Because it's nice to have different water brushes. My favorite, I haven't tried the Kiritake yet. Um, but I've tried the Arteza and I've tried the, um, the Pentel um, water brushes. My current favorites are the Tombos. I really like those. I haven't tried the Derwent yet. But, um, so I bought myself an F Matte Pencil Sharpener. This is the electric one. I got my mom the um, battery operated one for Christmas because that's more convenient for her. Um, but I really like this. <laughs> and the reason I decided, I have a, a hand crank one. I have the doll 133 and I love it. Um, and I got my set of um, Star Joy gold pencils. And usually I don't sharpen my pencils before I, um, swatch them most of the time because I don't have to but the Star Joy Golds had this blunt tip and I just couldn't do it and I'm like I am not hand cranking 120 pencils so I, I waited like a week I was gonna swatch them I've had them for I don't know three weeks or so maybe now um and so I finally swatched those <laughs> but I had to wait for the pencil sharpener to show up so um, I did get the Castle Art Pastel. I want the metallic ones too. I'm just trying to decide. Um, I'm waiting for them to have a sale, honestly. Um, there was a sale on these. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. Um, and I haven't done anything with them. I'm trying to decide uh, if I want to leave them in this tin. It would be the first set I've ever left in the tin. And like everyone's had these out and shown them on their channels. So um you know, you get all the cool stuff, the little um, picture, how to, I think this is the instruction, how to color this picture, which is kind of cool. And 
and their little booklet, which is nice. Yeah, that's a lot of cute stuff. I like that. Uh, and then it came with a blank swatch card, and I went ahead and, and swatched them out. And I'm really happy with the colors. <laughs> the names are funny. You know, I actually looked up snow waffle because I'm like, okay, what's a snow waffle? And it's an actual flower. or it, It's a foliage plant. We'll put it that way. I don't think it blooms. I didn't really read up on it. But a snow waffle, it, it has like these dark green leaves, and then there's like a purple, and there's this color on the leaf, which is kind of cool. So, you know, if you're wondering about some of the colors and where the names came from... <laughs> <laughs> who knows but um I really like the colors um I think these will be fun they're different there's some really nice colors in here that will add to pencil sets in my personal opinion I like them but so um I think they're well this is a very smooth cardstock these are um they have a bit of a wax waxy shine to them you can see it there um, but I, I need to try them in my coloring books, so I may end up doing a pastel, an all pastel pencil, pencil, an all pastel picture, <laughs> gosh, with these, but right now they're in the tray, you know, they are, they're really pretty, I love the colors, and yeah, I've heard some people say some of the colors are dark, they are, they're darker, dark for pastel pencils but you know I think they qualify as pastel and pastel -y still if pastel -y is a word you should ask Miriam Webster if pastel -y is a word okay so we'll put all this back in here I do have a 48 um, pencil roll that I'm not using so they'll either stay in this tin or they will go in the pencil roll we shall see it's a pretty tin and it has a a lid that you know tips up so um i got the arteza um advent calendar this year i got it late i got it like a week late because they ran out um and so i had to wait for it to come in and i ordered it and uh so i think i was like five or six days in whenever i got it maybe more than that it might have been like eight days in. Anyway, so I just thought I'd show you all the things that were in the advent calendar this year. So I had um, three bottles of acrylic color paint. There is fiery red, playful blue, which is like a, a white, bluish white, um, and fluorescent frosty peach. I'm gonna have to play with these and see. I haven't had any of their acrylic paint, so. Um, that's cool. And then there were a couple of bottles of, um, fabric colors. So there's metallic pearl black and gold glitter. So those will be nice. I don't know what the, the difference is other than it obviously sticks to fabric, but I mean, can you use it for anything? I've never really used fabric colors for anything. So then, um, there were some tubes of different stuff. Let me get out like, all the tubes out of here. <clears throat> um, so there were a couple of acrylic, I think like three acrylics. So there's a, um, what's this one? Pearl pink tulip acrylic paint. Um, there were two pearl pink tulips. I, I think there was, I think that might have been a mistake. And then there's a pearl turquoise. So these are pearlescent colors. Um, and then are these all gouache? Yeah. I have their metallic gouache, but I don't have the normal gouache. So these may be extra. Yeah. Pearl space gray, pearl deep brown, and pearl cactus green so i may have these but that's cool they're i love their gouache um it's really nice so that's those what else was in there um there was a water brush an arteza water brush um i don't really like these because you know they were one of the first sets of water brushes that i got because they're cool they look nice but I didn't, I thought that they let too much water come out, but I may have been inexperienced, so I'm going to try again. I still have have the other set that I bought. 
So I'm going to try them again in case I was just, you know, oh, here. Um, so there was some, I assume this is watercolor. There's Jingle Green, um, Cadmium Light Red, and Sky Blue. So I actually have an empty palette that I can stick them in. So that's cool. I'm going to try those. I haven't tried their watercolors yet. Um, then there were three of the dual tip art markers, the brush tip. So I got a green. Yeah. So I finally have a few of these, three. So there's, uh, I forget what color this is. Does it tell me? No, but there's a green one. Um, and then the yellow or gold. Now this one is a chisel. Oh yeah, and a, and a brush still. It says fine, but it should say brush, I would think. So, and then this one is a red one. So you got your Christmas colors, which I think they did last year too. Um, there were a total of three acrylic markers. There was a gold one, a silver one, and a white. And they have a nice nib. I'm gonna try these. These might be, I might, Think about getting a set of these because the nibs are so fine i haven't tried them yet. i haven't had time to try anything then i got the fabled they had one of their white gel pens which i've tried a little bit i didn't like it but i suck with white gel pen that's another thing that i have to get better at um i need to find videos of people just white gel penning pictures and i know there's a lot out there but um I don't know why I love it and then I'm like oh I'm gonna do that and then I never do because my brain doesn't work that way um there was a brush a beautiful round brush so that's cool and then very exciting there were three glitter gel pens the gold the green and the silver and I love these I tried them a little bit and I want like the whole set and of course they're out of stock I've just never tried them before um I'm not sure why, probably because I have so much stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to not buy a bunch of stuff, but when they come back into stock and if they're a decent price, I'm going to buy like a whole set of them because I really like these. So that, and this is just a, an empty box that I got to throw them all in. So I'll put them back in here and I'll divvy them up later. Got to figure out how I'm going to... Where I'm gonna put all my stuff. It goes in there too. All right. Um, so that's all of the supplies that I got. So now the books. So, um, so now on to the books. All right. So the first set um, of books I bought myself. Um, I got a million magical creatures, which. I just, it took me a little bit to get it because I'd spent so much money and ordered so many books. I thought, oh, I need to save some money for Christmas. So, a million magical creatures I now own. I got Mosaic Christmas Color by Number Coloring Book. Um, this is the Dots version. This is uh, Jennifer Rowling. And it's all circles, as you can see. And if you don't want to see the answers, look away because I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. I think there's only one page. So here are the pictures. I thought it was really cute. I think it'd be fun. I just, I haven't had this very long. I just got it like a week ago. Um, floating 3D Mandalas, the volume one by Tabitha Barnett. Um, this one's been out for a while. It was on sale, uh, and I bought volume two first, and I only like really 3D mandalas. Um, not really into super intricate. This is getting close to being too intricate for me, but it's a 3D mandala, so it'll probably be really pretty. Um, I love hers, so I added volume one since it was on sale. Uh, I did a flip through of this on my channel, Winter Snow Globes Coloring Book, Sherry Baldy, My Besties. 
So there's 25 images, two copies of each. Um, it's in my flip throughs playlist. If you want to see a flip through of this super adorable book. I love coloring snow globes. Uh, also got Mosaic Art Christmas, color by number. Satch and Satch Devo. I haven't done anything in it. Um, but this is super cute. I love his mosaic art. I love mosaic art, period. Um, I also got, which I think I did a flip through of on my channel, Yuletide uh, by, by Eclipse, um, AJ, AJ Canal, Canal. It's a circularism art book. These are so much fun. So, so much fun. I love them and they're so beautiful when you do them. Totally recommend them. I got the new Mystery Colors Natural Wonders. It came in the mail the other day. I do have a subscription. So this one's Natural Wonders. <coughs> if you haven't seen it before, um, you can find these in some grocery stores, bookstores, magazine racks. Um, I know here in Ohio, I find them, I see them at Meijer. I don't know if I've ever seen them at Walmart before. Um, trying to think if there's anywhere else I've seen them not really um so um I was going to show you the answers so look away if you don't want to see them because you can't really tell what the pictures are if you've never seen these before oh. so if I can get back here all these natural wonders look how beautiful those are the pictures are just gorgeous whenever you get them done so and they're not as bad as they seem because you know it looks really intricate and some of them are but you know you're coloring a large area it's a mystery it's a mystery so it can't look like the picture all right so i got myself the 2022 creative companion by ruby charm colors i just got this off of amazon um I got it. I got, had last year's, so I decided I uh, get this year's because it's super cute and useful. Has a lot of useful stuff in it. Um, I did not do a flip through of this. Um, if you want one, let me know. I'm sure there are. I don't know if I've seen anybody do a flip through of it this year or not. I'm sure somebody has, but hey, I am. I am happy to help if you want to see. And then um, I got myself, like I said, I love mystery mosaic type stuff. Um, color by number. This is a <clears throat> cactus girl. And I saw so many beautiful pictures out of this um, on uh, Instagram. People were doing. So they're all squares. They are numbered, which is nice. Um, so if you don't want to see the answers look away so they're in black and white so you can't really tell what the whole picture looks like but this book is just beautiful i want the one they don't name them very well um so um you have to look for the pictures on the front there's one with a cat on the front too that that I want but this one the pictures that I saw of it was just beautiful okay so that's it for the stuff that I got myself okay so next we will do the Christmas presents um a friend of mine coloring friend Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors she got dragon's book for me volume two I have volume one I had been drooling over volume two um thank you so much Kathy this is just has beautiful dragon pictures I love dragons and it's if it's a dragon book I would I have to have it generally there's a, there's a few I pass over because I don't like the dragons, but um, as a general rule, it's a pretty safe bet with me. <laughs> and I saw this book and I wanted it so bad, but oh, I don't remember if I put it on my wish list or not. So, 
but yeah there's slip throughs of this out there i could do one if anybody wants to see it um because i think i need to make more room but thank you so much it's gorgeous <laughs> another really good friend of mine michelle from uh, kids and caboodles she got me uncommonly cute animals oh my gosh this is even cuter than when you see it i need to do a flip through of this um i haven't done anything lately but i got this the other day and they're just adorable and my husband and i were sitting and looking at it and he's like who knew that there were these animals out there and i think he said who knew that that a flapjack octopus was cute or no it was a blobfish there's a blobfish in here <clears throat> it's probably in the front because i think that they are in alphabetical order no um and he's like who knew a blobfish was cute oh here it is <laughs> oh but these are adorable and they're they're in between simple and detailed and so um i have seen an angora rabbit they're really cute <laughs> I did not know that sand cats existed, though. I mean, this is, like, educational, because I didn't know some of these animals even existed. Like a sparkle muffin spider? I mean, really. Now, I have seen, um, it's a species of peacock spider. I have seen those. Those are extremely cool. Um, look up videos of peacock spiders, because they have, they're, like, green, and they're beautiful, and they put their little tushy up in the air, and it's funny. Yeah, and it is a jumping spider, too. Uh, I have seen a star-nosed mole. I didn't even know a Sunda Kalugo existed. I did not know that's what that was called, a tarsier. I've seen them. But anyway, <laughs> Venezuelan poodle moth. See, this one I need to look up because this, this has only been seen one time. So I question. We'll have to look that up. Wombat, of course. But uh, it's my, um, Jen Racine does these books and all of her books are so um, wonderful. She's just a great artist. I love Jen Racine. So thank you so much, Michelle. I love you. Thank you. I'm going to do like pictures out of all of my Christmas presents in, uh, in January, or at least some of them. So, um, next, so my husband got me four coloring books for Christmas, which I didn't expect. They were not on my list. And why I didn't know they existed, I don't know. And I know that not a lot of people will be excited. Um, but for those of you who know me, and know that I am a huge Star Trek fan. My cats are fighting, so excuse them. Um, or sorry, playing. They're playing in the background. So he got me these Star Trek coloring books. There are four of them, and they're awesome. Okay, so the first one. Now, um, I'm guessing, because I don't know where he got them or how he got them, I think they're Amazon printed. Except for one. I think three out of the four are Amazon printed. Um, I have no idea who the author is. Um, actually, there is, no, there is no author on this one. Okay. So, but beautiful Star Trek cover. I'm going to do flips of all of these because I love them and I love Star Trek. Don't ask me why I never bought Star Trek coloring books. Um, but this one is like a mishmash. It looks like it's some old, mostly old, but that was a data. Is that data? Yeah, that's data. Um, I thought it was all original series. <laughs> it may all be except for that one picture. It's just like random art. Yeah, maybe that picture of Data got put in there by accident. But these are kind of simple, so I'm excited about that. So then the next one he got me is 
Star Trek Coloring and Poster Book Exclusive Edition Collection of Selected Vintage, vintage Posters for Coloring. So, I think this one is Amazon printed. I don't know. <clears throat> you look at the book it belongs to. And I don't see an author on this one either. It just kind of goes into it. Um, so these must all be, and I'm a terrible Star Trek fan, but I have seen some of these posters before. Here's the next generation. Ugh, I love that one. Oh, I might have to do some of these in ink tints. I don't know. But <clears throat> there are some, some cute pictures in here. So I will do a flip through of this one. Also, yeah, again, no, uh, they've got Star Trek Next Generation on the back. So it's, it's both, but there's no artist. Sorry. And then there is um, this one, Star Trek Coloring Book Exclusive Edition, a collection of high quality illustrations, large format, 11 by 8.5. <laughs> hmm. So this is, um, and here's what my question is. These may be the same book. I may have to have him send these back. Except they have different, um, second pages. No, well, I think that there's going to be some pictures. I thought they were the same, but I think there's just going to be a few pictures that are the same. Looks like not that many, actually. Probably just the poster. I saw that one. This one is in the other one. I think maybe only three or four, so that's not bad. <clears throat> I remember most of these moments. These are going to be so much fun to color. So. Then the last one is... Um, the Star Trek original series about coloring book where no man has gone before. This one. Um, Dark Horse prints it. Which Dark Horse is a comic book company. It's like a Johanna Basford size book with nice paper like Johanna Basford's books has. So. I'll do a flip of this too for all interested. It's got like little quotes on here. I mean, I will do this one all in pencil or some kind of non bleed through. Um, but it's all original series, so I'm very excited. They're gorgeous. They're kind of grayscaley pictures. This one is just why did I not know that you existed? Anyway. So that is what I got for Christmas um, and the things that I bought in December. I will be doing a video of my goals for 2022, like what I want to do, my plans and things. And, and um, I need to make more videos and get myself together if I'm going to do this. I don't want it to be a job. Like I said, it's just fun. Um, but if people end up liking to watch, hey, I'll keep doing videos and sharing with other people and um, Kathy and I are doing a project book this year, so I'm very excited about that. We're doing a book together all year. <clears throat> so, um, but I learned a lot last year. I'm going to do, I have a coloring tag, or I have a tag to do, um, about my year in color, 2021. So I'm going to do that one too. It took me some time to figure out, um, what I wanted to do for that and pick out the pictures because which is how I learned that I really need to keep track of the pictures I've colored better if I'm going to go back and find all my favorites because I, I found out that I need to date my pictures you know you learn all these things as you go along I didn't think I would need to I dated some of them and then I'm like hmm 
you would have been useful if I dated them because some of them I can't remember when I did them and I don't post them all to Instagram which is another thing I'm bad at so anyway I hope y'all had a great Christmas and I hope y'all have a happy new year and I will edit this video and put it up and then we will get some more videos out over the weekend and I um, wish you all the best. You are all fabulous. Thanks for stopping by. Like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.